This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, what's going on guys? I am Sam. I hope all of you are doing absolutely fantastic today. If you're excited for an Apple March event, drop a like down below and of course hit subscribe so you do not miss out on anything else. They are preparing to release a number of products, their movie and TV streaming service, AirPods 2, probably AirPower, new iPad mini, new regular iPad. There is so much to talk about as always. So let's go ahead and talk about what we can expect to see at this rumored Apple March event. Apple held an education focused event in March of 2018 they held an event in March of 2016 and 2015 before that. They did skip 2017, but there's so many products that they're working on it. Let's go ahead and talk about those now. I really think the number one focus of this event for Apple is going to be their new subscription service. So they have Apple Music. We saw the Apple Magazine subscription service leak. So that's two out of three. Three out of three is a big one, a movie and TV Apple original exclusive streaming service. And according to the Apple Toolbox, the service may or may not be free. At first we heard it was going to be completely free with any Apple device. Now they're saying that it could be free, but it also may not be free. Now when the streaming service launches on the TV app on your iOS device, Apple may actually relocate iTunes movies and TV shows from the iTunes store app on your phone or iPad to the TV app. It's that one right there. It's got a pretty cool interface and I like the way it looks. I just never actually use it. Maybe I'll start using it more when the streaming service comes out. I just don't know if Apple will be able Able to nail streaming like Netflix or YouTube has. Now, because Apple subscription service isn't out yet, we don't know everything about it, but I do want to tell you about a subscription service that is out right now that I really think you guys would enjoy because it's a service that I really enjoy. It's Skillshare. It is an online learning community for creators. I've been talking about them for such a long time on this channel. They've been a very dedicated, very good sponsor to work with because they have a really good product. Whether you're thinking about getting into video editing, I found a ton of cool classes on Adobe products, which I've just started looking into, you want to learn guitar, you want to learn an entirely different skill, you will find something of value on Skillshare. And an annual membership costs less than 10 bucks a month. So for the first 500 of you, you can get two months free right now by using my link down below in the description. So go show Skillshare some love. Definitely check out this link. The two month free trial is an absolute steal. And I hope you guys take advantage of the opportunity. I actually really want to hear your thoughts on the streaming service down below. Do you think it's a good idea for Apple to get into this scene to get into streaming or should they stick with hardware products? like AirPods 2, which is what I want to talk about now. This is, I would say, one of the most highly anticipated sequential Apple products in years, if not of all time. AirPods exploded in 2018, and we're hearing a lot, an absolute ton about AirPods 2. Number one, hands-free Siri functionality. So this is absolutely confirmed. There is code, there's images inside of iOS 12.2 right now that show you being able to set up Hey Siri functionality on your AirPods. AirPods. Before, you'd have to double tap one of the AirPods or activate it on your iPhone. With iOS 12.2 and the second generation version of AirPods, you'll be able to do everything hands-free, which is a pretty cool feature, kind of small, but still pretty cool. Next up, they are likely going to ship with an updated wireless charging case. Now, Apple has previously promised that in the past, you'll be able to buy this as a standalone accessory. So if you have AirPods 1 but still want to gain that wireless charging functionality, you should be able to do that. We also have an image of exactly what that will look like. Again, this was leaked a while ago and Apple has confirmed this one. They have said we are absolutely working on an AirPods wireless charging case. You can really get a good look at it here as it spins around and I don't believe that what we're seeing here is second generation AirPods next to it. I think this is just an exclusive look at the AirPods wireless charging case. You'll notice it's the wireless charging case because the charging indicator is no longer hidden on the inside. You don't have to pop open the flap. You can just stare at the charging indicator on the front to know immediately whether or not your AirPods have charged or you need to put them on the wireless charging mat. Although that was supposed to come in 2018 along with the AirPower wireless charging mat, but it's probably just gonna come in March now that they're late. If there's two things that we can for sure count on for AirPods 2, I would say that hands-free Siri functionality and a new wireless charging case. Also a third pillar that I would definitely put my name behind because sources have talked about this, advanced health monitoring features. Digitimes who initially reported on the health monitoring features also said there could be a slight redesign of AirPods 2 to accommodate these health features, but unfortunately we have no images of what it could look like. Now going right alongside with AirPods 2 guys, I think, I think, fingers crossed that the AirPower wireless charging mat is also gonna be on the way. There have been so many reports, so many rumors about this device, and most recently we've heard that production has begun again. So AirPower, if it's coming at all in 2019, 
I think it's gonna launch alongside AirPods 2 because it will be great to market those products together as part of the ecosystem. You get the new AirPods 2 with the wireless charging case. Guess what you pop it on every night when you go to bed? Your brand new AirPower Apple branded wireless charging mat. Next up, talking about some serious Apple hardware now, let's talk about the iPad line because the iPad Pro just got updated in October slash November of 2018. So I don't think Apple's gonna be touching that or is heavily thinking about that right now for release anytime soon. What they are thinking about is a new iPad mini. One is definitely on the way now and a new iPad. Apple's registered new iPad models to the EEC, the Eurasian Economic Commission, and there is hard evidence inside of iOS 12.2 right now, a number of model identifiers for currently unreleased iPads. And in a new report from Mac Rumors, very well respected and accurate Apple developer Steve Trotton Smith is reporting that the iPad Mini 5 will feature Apple Pencil support alongside support for the Apple Smart Keyboard. So that's really cool. Apple Pencil is a pretty big deal. I, I was a hater of it for a long time. I didn't really get the hype. I never used it. But after using the second generation of Apple Pencil with the tapping capabilities, to switch between tools on the fly and the fact that it magnetically attaches to the brand new iPad Pro. I really like it and I think you guys should give it a shot if you're at all artistic. It's a pretty cool product and I definitely undersold it at first. I don't use it a ton now, but every time I do, it's a really good experience and there's practically no latency. So bringing that from the iPad Pro line, Apple then put it on the regular $329 iPad and I think in 2019 it makes sense for Apple to expand that once more to their lowest end iPad, the iPad Mini 5. If you want a bigger screen, the 9.7 inch iPad, the budget $329 model, what is currently the iPad 6, going to be getting upgraded to the iPad 7 in March of 2019, but with some pretty major enhancements. Number one, a larger 10 to 10.5 inch screen. Sources are sort of scattered between that, but my gut says 10 inches because I've heard that more in the community, but it's going to have thinner bezels on the device. So I think it's going to be very similar looking to this. Uh, I sort of mocked down a 10.5 inch iPad. Pad Pro, but with a slightly larger screen and thinner bezels, I definitely think this, this is the approach that Apple will take. Leak code inside of iOS 12.2, again discovered by Steve Trotton Smith, suggests that both the iPad Mini 5 and this new budget 10 inch iPad are going to ship with Touch ID instead of Face ID. While I want Face ID to come to every product, it is still a very high end feature, very exclusive feature per se. So I don't think that Apple is going to bring that down to these three, four, five hundred dollar iPads just yet, even though I think they should, I don't think they're going to. For the processor on this iPad, I have a feeling Apple's just gonna bump it up to the A11. I haven't seen any hard leaks or hard sourcing for what chip we're gonna see on this newest 10 inch budget iPad. Apple Toolbox says we could be seeing an A12, and I'm just personally skeptical on that because Apple doesn't usually jump to the newest processor when a budget device comes out. More realistically, I think we're going to at least see an A11 chip in the new 2019 budget 10 inch iPad because right now in the 2018 version, there is an A10 chip. So those are the main products that I'm expecting to see, but of course there are going to be toss-ups as well. And the biggest toss-up for this event that could very well happen, but could very well not happen as well, is the iPod Touch 7th generation. I know it sounds crazy, but recently the rumor mill has been spinning on this device. Sources saying there is a new one coming out in 2019 and leaked code, again discovered by Steve Trotton Smith inside of iOS 12.2, shows that Apple is preparing to release a brand new model. When this comes out, MacRumor says that it could have an A10 Fusion chip, so it'd be a pretty speedy device. That would definitely be a very, very good chip to see inside of this iPod, but we don't know if it's coming in March, sooner or later in 2019, maybe at the iPhone event in September or some iPad-focused event, possibly later in October or November. Now, one more product that Apple could potentially be working on for a release or announcement at this event is a mini version of the HomePod. We first heard about this a while back and according to the Apple Toolbox, it could be coming. I'm just a little skeptical because we have not heard much talk about this at all. So this would definitely be like maybe a one more thing moment where Apple would talk about this mini version of the HomePod. But really the main focus is going to be AirPods, iPads, and this new subscription service. And hopefully we see AirPower as well. So by and large, that's what we're expecting at this March event from 
Apple. It's gonna be pretty packed, it's gonna be pretty busy, and it's definitely going to be very exciting. AirPods 2 is definitely the product I am most looking forward to out of the mix, but let me know down below in the comment section which product you are looking forward to. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Check out that link down below if you haven't already. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing fantastic, and I will see you in my next video.